Hi guys and welcome back to the Workbench. I just wanted to do a real quick video to announce that standard XLR2 beta kits have arrived, so I'm going to post them to the store soon. But I want to explain the minute differences between the Emacs kit and the standard kit so you understand when you're purchasing them what you're getting and which one you should pick. So Emacs on the left, standard on the right, they look almost identical. But the big difference is Emacs is slightly longer arms um, to allow for 2.3 inch props which come in the power pack kit. The standard XLR 2 is a little bit shorter um, because it's made to run 2 inch props which the arms didn't need to be as long to run. So other than that the assembly is slightly different. So let's just go over that real quick. I've got one here. Uh, if you order them from me They'll come in a bag like this with a couple rubber bands, the uh, loom bands that I showed previously to secure the camera. So let's just open this real quick, pull out the main plate, and unfortunately I don't think I have an XLR2 Emacs kit sitting here to compare, but what you're going to notice is that on the standard XLR2 you're going to have the four 20 by 20 mounting holes for all your standard micro flight controllers and 4-in-1 boards so you'll be able to stuff those in there if you want. Now you're only going to have 15 millimeters of vertical height so you want to be careful when picking your components because you need them to be very close to each other. In this case I ended up building this one with the receiver and the VTX in the top tray because I couldn't get my receiver to fit because I, I'm using a Futaba receiver and they're kind of big. But if you're using the X M or an XM Plus, you probably won't have a problem, especially if you're using a board that has an integrated um, receiver. Some of them are starting to come with that now. But you can also do a standard flight controller and mount the ESCs on the arms, which I like to do actually. So anyways, real quick, assembly differences. Let's go ahead and open this so I can get the hardware out. I'm going to assemble this one completely real quick. It shouldn't take that long. Same camera plate. The uh, top plate, if I can get this out of here, is also identical. Losing screws here. You got screws. You're going to have six screws. And uh, that's where one of the differences, the hardware is different. And then also, you have vertical plates that are different. So, this is the same between the two. This is the same between the two. Bottom plate's different. The vertical plates are slightly different. And uh, the hardware is different. So, with the Emacs Power Pack, you have the Femto flight controller that comes with the Emacs Power Pack. So, it has an extra carbon plate to mount that in here. You're not going to have that with the standard edition because it's intended to mount directly to the bottom plate. So, you're going to have to get your own hardware for that, actually. But otherwise, you just go ahead and take this, grab your screws, they're all the same size, assemble your standoffs. Um, Emacs has nylon, all nylon hardware. The regular version has nylon screws to help keep it light, but aluminum standoffs. And uh, I wanted to use nylon standoffs, but uh, Armitan Productions doesn't have that on their list of standard hardware, so I just went with these aluminum ones. We're going to weigh this at the end so you can compare the weight difference. Um, According to my calculations and the ones that I hodgepodge together at home, it's actually about the same. So this part with your side plates and camera plate goes together the same exact way on both of them. So you slot the camera plate in onto both sides with all your gear in it, of course. You have most of this stuff assembled. And then you kind of stick the back legs through the two slots right back here you want to stick this down and then slide it in and uh, let's see if I can get this to go should be a little bit tighter than the last time I built one of these yeah it is been slowly tightening up the specs for the for the cuts try and get this to fit perfect and it's getting better so in fact I feel like the camera mounts in there a lot better than it was on the previous version so that's good right so you got your pod assembled real simple and it just goes straight down so the big difference is you just don't have that flight controller mount that you had on the standard version you have instead just the four holes 
So if I can find my screwdriver, which is over here, okay, we'll go ahead and cinch this down. It's real simple now. Um, basically, by taking that flight controller plate out for the Femto, it, it's just three standoffs essentially in your pod. So that was the only difference in the assembly. Casting shadows here. See if this helps a little bit. Always hard to do this stuff on camera. Anyways, I am almost done here. Put this over here. There we go. So we have this tightened down. And uh, there we go. There's an XLR2 standard version. And let's check the weight real quick so you guys can see. All right, so real quick, let's weigh this. Turn the scale on, let it zero out. Okay. And you can see it's pretty much the same weight as the other one. It's not even a gram more. I think the other one came out to be 15.7-ish, and this one's 15.9, so the only difference is, obviously, you're going to have to figure out how to mount your flight controller. It's not going to include flight controller hardware just because there's so many different stack-ups you could build that I didn't even know what to include. Um, and, you know, you just end up throwing hardware out. So to keep it cheaper, make it easier, just you're going to have to supply your own hardware. And some of the flight controllers for this size come with their own hardware anyways. So that's it. Um, tune in for more, and uh, look for these on the store soon. They'll be posted this weekend. Thanks. Bye.